So it looks like we need to talk about the treasury again. Oh god. We're going to do a breakdown of what the treasury is, how it works, how much money's in it, why I feel it's a problem for Polkadot in the future, and most importantly, how you can vote and stake your claim in terms of what is going to happen with Polkadot. On the screen, you can see a tweet. Hiya. Can someone explain to me why we need Dot and Kasama? Why anyone would buy Moonbeam and Moonriver? Serious question now. Probably is a light-hearted question. Yeah. But Ran is doing a proposal for the Polkadot Treasury for three months of exposure for roughly $300,000. That is $100,000 per month. Mad. Myself and Kevin have been banging on the drum to state that this is ridiculous. Ran, in my opinion, is not a good advocate for cryptocurrency, has been caught up in a lot of stuff, and I will go through that in this video. And ultimately, for me, it's not about the money. It's not about the treasury. It's not about... Because that's massive, right? That's fine. I have never been paid off the treasury. That doesn't make me envious. I don't care. If I want to do a proposal, I will, but I don't need to, right? Because what I'm going to give doesn't benefit realistically, right? However, there's a little bit of a grift going on here, and let's talk about it. This is what it is. I'm going to go through this website in a bit, so bear with me. Now, ultimately, 38,684 DOT is going to be transferred at the rate of $7.60 based off the moving average 30 from that date. You can see that very clearly. However, there's not much here to give us some clarity of what the frick's going to happen. You do, it's context, lovely. Recognizing the significant strategy, a part of a brand exposure is considering collaborating. Uh, there's nothing here to tell us how things are going to be run. There's not a plan of videos. There's not a plan of like a schedule. What's going to genuinely happen? Not a lot, right? This is important. Ran has and was a part of the CNBC crypto trader show back in the early days. If you are or have been around crypto for a while, you'll know this. Props to you if you've been around that long. However, he was, in my opinion, probably dismissed due to some dodgy dealings with some ICOs. You can see this in the article. Basically, this kind of went really, really badly. Um, there's quite a lot of coverage on it. Feel free to do your own research. But also, he was a part of that little gang telling you how to buy Ripple at all-time high and then how to sell it when it was going down. It was crazy that year. Crazy. So, already questionable, right? You've also got Zach XBT, known for a load of threads and exposing people, talking about, essentially, pump and dump schemes that has been done on his channel, Twitter, all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to show you something really interesting in a minute in terms of Polkadot, because it makes you laugh. But this is what the problem is. For me, I want, as an investor of Polkadot, people who want to promote it, promote it and do a good job, not people who come for the money to promote it for a little bit and then bugger off. That's what the problem is. You know, when I talk about investments, you want to be a part of it. You want to feel like you enjoy the product. I feel this could sour it if the wrong influencers do the wrong or the right or whatever thing. Mm -hmm. Think about it. If you enjoy Costa and you like to make, buy their coffees and all of a sudden they change the recipe, you're not going to like it. This is the same sort of element of Polkadot in terms of marketing. You might not like how they market it. It might well sour your investment because they are going to no one, somewhat proven, paid chillers, pumper and dumpers who are just there for 300k. Cool. I'll promote it for that. Anyone would. Let's talk about other things. Now, this is an old tweet. I've gone through his tweets, by the way. Makes you makes you wonder, with all the hype around Dot, you need to invest in critical components. This one. P node. Pink node. On the right hand side there, here, we have ceased operations. Thank you for your support. <sighs> Get my point. Another one. The latest tweet using the hashtag dot hasn't really spoken about it for a very, very long time. Right? Cool, isn't it? Now, this is where the problem lies. 
in my opinion, and this is why we're going to go into the treasury in a second, why I don't think it's working correctly, is Wales are not doing their due, dil due diligence. There we go, my words out. Bit of a problem. Another one here. Dot, right? Yes, there's a bit more. Lovely. But only included in the tweet. And then you got this bit here, which is what I highlighted at the point at, at the start. And then you got first, you know, parachains. Yeah, fine. But realistically, let's be honest here, this was all at the all time highs, right? The hype was there. Again, polka dot. Mm. Is it? Get my. You di I hope you understand my point here. And finally, nothing for the hashtag, which is usually the most common. <laughs> so, makes you wonder. Going on to the next part is obviously the YouTube channel. Hmm. When you put in Polkadot, there's a video streamed three years ago, which was basically Cardano versus Polkadot. And then you got the altcoins on fire announcements, and then that's pretty much it. Not really much in terms of like Polkadot as a, a physical front, right? So this is where it gets interesting, right? We're talking about how things have changed. This was it, what, 15, 16 hours ago. This is it roughly, what, about two hours ago, give or take. Obviously, it'll change now as you watch this video. But this is the thing. Why doesn't the Treasury, in my opinion, work as it should? There's been some really interesting use cases for it and against it, right? The problem I've got with all of this, right? And I'll press the refresh page just to see if we can get some new changes. It's gone 50-50 now. No, it hasn't. Ignore that. You get the point. So, when you talk about it in terms of a, a voting system, the problem I have with this is you've got whales that are pro-marketing, but they're not looking and they're just going blanket, yes, yes, marketing. <laughs> but it doesn't work like that because you need to do your due diligence. Put it this way, let's put it into a real life weird scenario, right? Rolf Harris, you wouldn't have him at your birthday party for your kids, would you now? I know he's passed away, but you get the idea. It's kind of like that, if you've got to put it brutally honest. Why would you want someone who has been known for pumping and dumping and never really mentioning it and talking about it in a negative slash way and only talking about the hype of the cycles, market this? Now, let's look at it in an obvious point of view. When we talk about all these votes, this is a problem. Look at how many no's there is. Look at how many yeses there is, right? All that kind of stuff is interesting. You can see it's obviously very, very interesting how it's changed. But the reality is here, we shouldn't have to get this far away. We shouldn't have to get this far. We shouldn't be that close, right? In my opinion, this is a problem. The big money wants marketing. But for me, and let's talk about it in an obvious viewpoint here. Polkadot, if you remove the, the you know, the obvious elephant in the room, basically the stable coins, has been a top 10 coin, give or take around that point, for a very, very long time. People in crypto know Polkadot. You don't need a market within its own little echo chamber, do you? No. So I'm going to give you my viewpoint. And this is what I put on um, Giotto's tweet. He's 16DG, one of the main whales that is an advocate for essentially, well, obvious, marketing, right? This is my opinion. We don't want that scammer to promote Polkadot. You never get it, do you? Everyone who invests in cryptocurrency has heard of Polkadot. It's been a top 10 coin for three years. Give or take. Marketing needs to be needs to enter outside of crypto to be effective. Price action is the best marketing. And I prove that by looking at these, going back, how price action, how people talk about it. Now, all of a sudden, people are getting really excited and turned on by Polkadot having meme coins, potentially, like Dead and Pink and all this kind of stuff. Cool, right? It's fine. But originally, about two, three months ago, most people, especially the whales, were like, nope, 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 SEC. We want to be whiter than white. We don't want to have a problem. People might lose their money. But all of a sudden, they saw the hype that came in, like 20,000 people joined a Telegram group for Dead as a meme coin for an airdrop and all this. Everyone went mental for it, right? Make my point. Price action is the best form of marketing. Not people that are already in crypto who are just going to get sold. Well, buy Polkadot. Why would I buy Polkadot, mate? You've just been paid $300,000 to say that. You're a paid shill. See my point? Mm. It's interesting, right? 
So let's talk about this. How does the governance kind of work? Well, basically, yes, no, free your bags full, sir. Right? Problem is, you've got people like me lobbying to say no. You've got people like 16DG and all these other I, I, Ivy and stuff saying, yes, marketing's good. But realistically, it doesn't work because you've got whales overpowering the minions like me. Even though you will find potentially, and as I say and as I show, there's a lot more nays versus a lot more eyes. But look at the look at the swing. The volume. This is interesting. There's only what 600 people technically voting. It's not many. Give or take around that point. You get my my point here. Not many people know about it. So you can vote on the likes of Buy Frost and other platforms, which is going to be an aggregate of multiple votes in one. But ultimately, there doesn't seem to be much in terms of the support, in terms of yes or no, by masses. This is where it gets interesting. Now, when we talk about you know all of this and conviction, there's a conviction element to it. So say if you've got, say, a 1,000 dot, you can do a nice little conviction, which will lock up your dot for longer, but it will multiply your dot. Great. But then you're locked. And then if you lose, you lose, you're stuck, you know? So it kind of discourages people a little bit, especially when you start seeing whales just lobbying. Now, this is where the problem lies. When we talk about, like, obviously the governance and obviously the treasury, that is the details. There's a lot of dot. I'm not worried about how much dot and it, it getting depleted. More use case of dot, you know, core time and all these new features that are coming and obviously use case of meme coins potentially is good for poker dot. Don't get me wrong. It's going to increase the treasury. It needs to be spent. But it also needs to be spent in the right way. Right? That is my point. The next burns. For me, there should be many different things that we can look at. I like stuff like this. I know it's I know I've just literally seen it and I've just gone, whoa, cool. But burn half the treasury. Why don't we increase burns? Why don't influencers like Ran put money towards it and then they can get paid at the end of it to see if it's a success? Because the way I see it, if you start lobbying with certain whales, people are going to get paid lots of money for free. Are they going to do a good job? Probably not, right? There's all kinds of different things here. I think the treasury should be burnt more. I think personally, they should not be allowed to market it within crypto. I think that's a bit weird. I think marketing should be elsewhere. Money should be spent on other marketing techniques, but that's my opinion on it. In terms of how to use this, you simply just connect your wallet. If you're using JS, Talisman, whatever, you know, sub wallet. Yeah, there's a couple of options here. It's very, very simple. Or you can just log in. It's very easy. So if you want to go on different ones, so the ones that are the most interesting ones, right? <laughs> if you go onto it, obviously, if you look in, you can see it, right? But treasury pr pr proposals here. Yeah, cool. There's a lot. But there's always going to be stuff. Now, you can see what's been approved, marketing stuff, all kinds of stuff, right? Bounties, you got tips. Personally, I, I've been told many times I should be doing a tip. I should be, oh, you've done loads of content, whatever. Proposals. So how it will basically work is basically, you know, if you're a parachain or if you're a, you know, whatever, you can do proposals to, you know, get paid for developing stuff, right? That's cool. Good proposals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, the other side of it is ultimately, yes, you can see obviously referendums, motions, all kinds of stuff like that. That's fine. It's the influencer side that's going to be the problem. And a lot of people do say well, grifters will ruin DOT. And I think that could be a possibility. If I go to view all, you can see what's kind of happening. A lot of things are happening. Obviously, they're quite old. But you get the idea, right? You, you get the point. But for me, the treasury is going to be very, very interesting. So if we go medium spender, for example, you're going to find a lot of interesting stuff in here. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. You know, if we look at, let's look at some key tags actually while we're going on it. Influencer voting. So there's quite a few little ones here with the tag influencer. The ones that have been closed as well. Ivan on tech executed. There you go. Full year, 24,000 dot. Ivan on tech. So that gives you an idea that, that, that what we're kind of dealing with here. Um, there's a lot of people doing it. I'm not sure who else recently. I think there's a couple. But yeah, there's been some really good proposals for like maybe 4,000 dot, 8,000 dot. You know, Lark Davis was rejected, 21,000. What's the difference between Lark Davis and Crypto Banter? Obviously, the amounts are very, very different. You can see a lot of no's, a lot of, yeah, you see the idea. 
It's absolutely crazy. So, yeah. <sighs> Be mindful of this one. Anyways, let's see what happens with this execution.